Hey everyone, NS Train Modeler 22. It's been a long time, I know. I haven't posted much about the layout in a while. Um, mainly just because I've been busy. I had, unfortunately, a knee injury. Um, and I had to get surgery on that. My right knee, I tore something in my right knee which locked my knee up at a fucking firefighter event that was hosted by literally Norfolk Southern. Um, and also, I got a cat now. I don't know how well you can see it, but his nickname is Dipshit, so he's currently on that catnip stuff, so he's feeling really good, and let's keep it that way. But in front of me here on my desk, I have a new edition, well, the newest edition, there's a, an edition before this one that's in my display case I'll get to before this one, uh, so let me take you over to my display case here real quick and show you. As you can see, here's the display case that I was talking about that has all my uh, heritage units in it. Sorry about the lighting, it's really terrible lighting over here. Um, but the newest addition before the locomotive that's on my desk is the Scale Trains NS8099 Southern Heritage Unit. So, all I need now is the Nickel Plate Road and the Central of Georgia. To make all 20 so but yep let me shut the display case window and yeah that's my hair jeans right there so back to the desk but before I go over there to look at the new edition this is crackhead he's feeling really great right now he's on that catnip so yep my grandmother named him Kitty Kitty. So, and he's a little, little a-hole. So, yep. We don't have the German short hair pointer anymore. My sister moved out and took the dog with her. So, we have a Kitty Kitty now. Which is his name. His name is Kitty Kitty. So, he's feeling real great. Okay, and we are back at the desk now. Uh, I don't know how well you can see me. I need to get a camera that has a flip-up screen in the back because I want to know if you actually see my ugly face or not. Um, but the main person that wants me to do a review, I have his YouTube channel name pulled up. Um, and I'm currently messaging him on Instagram. Yes, Ray, I am talking about you, sir. My good old friend, Ray, from the United Kingdom. He's been my friend since, I think, 2016, when he came over to America here, and we were all fan at Cove. He saw the Reading Heritage Unit NS4002, I think, and a line of Brazilian export locomotives in Enola. His uh, YouTube channel is Malvern Junction. He has 42 subscribers. His channel will be linked down below. Everyone go show him love. Let's see if we can get his uh, count up to 50, even 100. Let's see. I know I have a lot of people on my channel and watch my videos, so go show my friend uh, Ray some love. So, and without further ado, let's get down here to this uh, new locomotive. I almost spoiled it. Let's get to it. And here's the end of the box right here. And right here is the loco itself. Amtrak 108. I don't know how well it's coming up on the screen. My camera is still that broken lens. Um, so bear with me. A really nice uh, locomotive by Kato. Kato, however you want to pronounce it. Um, trying to rotate it here without like breaking it or anything. So, I have seen this engine in person multiple times. Um, I should have filmed it more than I was, but I was more into the photography aspect of it. Uh, but if you follow me on Instagram, you will see a lot of photos of this engine that I've taken. So, but you have to, now I don't have a track to run it. Uh, so there's not gonna be a running video and side note there goes my cat he's done on the catnip he just walked to the left or to the right here um, I can say that the PTC is accurate on the top I have gotten a shot from the top looking down on it um, and if I remember correct I'll throw some photos that I took of it at the end of the video so you guys can see um, the American flag on the side here um, right there is accurate 
all crisp um, paint and decals, nothing like, uh, bl nothing bled. So. Has those, uh, I don't know what couplers they use there. But, I don't know much about Amtrak, so you gotta bear with me. Has the nice uh, connecting America for 50 years on the side, which looks as clean as it does on the real model. Um, so, got the fan house on the back here. The exhaust stack right there. And then the horn. I don't know what type of horn it is, but yeah. Flip it over, look at the underside here real quick. I wouldn't be doing this if it was a diesel locomotive, like a freight locomotive, because obviously you have the handrails. Um, but that's the underside detail right there. This shot here looks so good, I think, of the looking up at the cab. I just love how the red uh, goes up with the blue. So, but then here's the roof shot. Really good model. Had to buy it just because I've seen it in person a lot and thought, might as well. The other Amtrak engine I have in special paint is the number 42. So, yeah. Wish I could see both these running on the same train together, but that's highly unlikely. But that's going to do it for this short review. Uh, be sure to also remember, go follow and subscribe to my friend Ray Malvern Junction. His channel will be linked in the description down below. And now cue the photos that I've taken of Amtrak 108. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the famous. If you want to play toss and want to hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the famous. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the famous. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. Everything I do so instinctive and so passionate Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented it Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks This and that spitting slow, spitting fast I could roast, I could gas, think I'm okay at last But I don't know if that can erase all the past And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness Hilarious, you think you're worth my time, you're delirious Mysterious, because you hide behind a fake exterior Inferior, you know I'll always be a bit superior Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag I want you to hear words, you can say them back I want you to feel free from the chains at last And to believe in what you got, it was built to last, yeah now that I've been put through hell I never got anyone's help I had to do it all myself I don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement of being incompetent Mental health is confidence Dreams and some honestness I'm not here to save the day That's for you to take away I could play a million mind games But instead I say Something not illogical Something that is topical Rub it on and watch it go Make yourself unstoppable Dreams are irresponsible But they're always possible If you just believe You could be so remarkable Thoughts in my head A collage and they spread I'll be great one day Going off of my meds No, I'm not giving up No, I'm not giving in I will make it to the top Taking off in the wind I gotta make it I'm saving every day to taste it I'm patient, but my mind it can hardly take it I'm chasing a dream that I've had for several ages A vacant modern kingdom for the taking